Why did you decide to join cross country? Um, well, I had a lot of convincing from Ellie and a couple other friends. And back in seventh grade, I thought it would help me with dance. You get to talk to nice people. I want to get fat, and there's no other sports that I want to do. Because my older brother was good at it. Because I needed a fall sport. Ray convinced us to join. Because uh, my sister was doing it. Football was kind of boring, and our team was kind of bad. So I decided to join cross country. I still wanted to get a workout in, and then I realized that it was actually a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it. Well, I didn't want to be that kid who didn't do a sport, and I told my dad about it, and then all of a sudden I was in cross country. I decided to join cross country because coach recommended it to me last year during track, and then he got Drew to peer pressure me into it. I ran cross country because I can't handle sports with round objects hurtling towards my face. Why did you continue to come back every year? Uh, I, I, my parents didn't want me to quit. My mom said it looked good on college apps. Do you have a favorite cross country meet? North Branch. Um, it's just like so flat. Everyone seems to PR and do really good there. So oh, yeah. uh, North Branch. I really like St. Francis. Um, I also really love Swain and the Malacca Mega Meet. North Branch meet. Swain and Malacca. Swain! Our home meet. Probably Cambridge. My favorite meet was Swain. I would say North Branch. Probably North Branch because it was really fast. <laughs> it was the Cambridge I Santee one because I PR'd every single time we went there. My favorite meet this year was Swain because uh, it was fun to run it and then it was fun to watch other people have to struggle through the same thing you did. Oh, uh, the favorite meet has to be the Mega Meet. It's just crazy. There's people all over cheering the whole thing. It's just, it's you know, over 100 teams. It's the largest one in the world. It's by far the, the neatest meet around. Probably North Branch because it's so flat. I would be the Swain one because it's in Duluth, which is very pretty and it challenges everybody to do their best. Swain this year, thanks to Johnny. Probably St. Francis because it's got the small hills. Um, I like the Malacca early bird. My favorite meet is actually North Branch. I'd say North Branch because that's the meet that I get my fastest time in. I like Swain because every time I run Swain, it's like a new course. I never remember when I uh, uh, get on the course and I'm like, wow, this is a new, new run, isn't it? Everyone just tells me, no, no, it's not, Ellie. It's the same course we run every year. Like Swain. Swain is fun. Cool, okay. Do you have a favorite speed workout? Donut run. I like the ton, ton, ton. Donut run, because you get donuts afterwards, so you have something to kind of look forward to. I'd say the donut run. Donut run, because I always get out first because I'm the slowest, and I get donuts. Ten, ten, ten. Repeat miles. My favorite speed workout is running hills. The donut run, because we all get to eat donuts afterwards. The Indian run, because... I don't know, it's, it's not that terrible. Oh, by far it has to be the donut run. It's really great to see kids getting it out just for a donut. It's just awesome. They work really hard and they have fun doing it. It's awesome. Poker run. I really like the donut run. The donut run, because I got donuts. Like everyone else, probably the donut run. I like the selfie run a lot. Poker run. Definitely the donut run. The poker run. Definitely the donut run. <laughs> Oh wow, I love repeat miles. You never get enough of them. The repeat miles would be my favorite. Donut run, because I love donuts. I have to go with the donut run also, because he doesn't love donuts. Donut runs. I'm going to have to go with the selfie run. Ah, uh, selfie run. How many years have you been coaching cross country? Uh, I believe this is my 37th year, and I taught, I did coach one year in Brainerd. If you could use one word to describe Coach Orwell, what would it be and why? I would say comical. Coach is just a silly guy. <laughs> Energetic. Courageous. He's fabulous. <laughs> Amazing. Could I use a word that first comes to mind when I think of Orwell? Yes. Fear. <laughs> Tall. Encouraging. Supportive. Jolly. Caring. Whimsical. I would use the word respectable. Fluffy. Inspiring. Meek. Great. Encouraging. Outstanding. <laughs> kind. I would describe him as inspirational because he got me to join the sport in the first place. He committed. I would use Kenny Bear because he is a teddy bear, but he is a Kenny. If you were stranded on an island, would you rather be stranded with Lady Coach or Coach Orwell? Lady Coach. I don't know. We we might die, but we'd have a good time. Well, I gotta say uh, Orwell because he's an <coughs> expert at fishing and he's a tech guy, so I feel like he can try to make something up and somehow get us to safety. Lady coach because she wouldn't make me run. Probably Orwell because he wouldn't outlive me and try to eat me if it resorted to cannibalism. Um, Orwell because he'd be positive about death. <laughs> Lady coach because she wouldn't eat us. 
I'd rather be stranded with Coach Orwell because in my experience he's a better hunter than a lady coach. I would rather have Orwell because I feel like he's really handy and he could, I don't know, <laughs> build a shelter or something. Do you have a favorite memory of or with Orwell? Uh, probably the memory when I first gave him my brownies and his reaction to them. <laughs> This might be wrong, but um, I think it's when he kicked Skylar Cruz off the team. Um, I think it was my seventh grade year of cross country. We were meditating in the choir room before conference, and there was a kid our seventh grade year, and he did something not so great. I knocked down a chair, and it was really loud while we were meditating. And Orwell turned on the lights and got a little angry. Put him in his place. Do you remember the name of this kid? I, I do, but I feel like I shouldn't say it. He yelled at everyone for a solid 10, 15 minutes. What are you going to miss most about coaching? Uh, I, I miss, I'll miss the kids. Uh, you know, with my job, I don't, I'm not in the classroom every day like I used to, so this is kind of my kid contact, and I just you know, love working with young people. They keep me young, and, and they're always fun. You never know what to expect. If I had one word to describe Coach Orwell, I'd have to go with Karen. I was on the team for all six years from seventh grade through twelfth grade and I don't think there was a single time when there was any doubt that he was invested in me as a person and as a runner. I started in seventh grade mainly to get in shape for basketball and uh, because my brother was on the team figured I'd give it a shot and he was with me every step of the way every breakthrough race I had uh, he was there and it was like almost he had expected it and was just waiting for me to, to figure it out. Congratulations on coaching and teaching and doing everything you've done for over 40 years. Coach Orwell prompted me to join track um, in seventh grade and that was great. And then cross country from there on out. I loved going up to Duluth and running Swain, one hill of a race. And it was always this fear factor going into it. Honestly, a very jolly person. That's one of the best ways to describe him. He's a very jolly person. When I first joined cross country as a 7th grader, I couldn't even run to Dairy Queen and back. But I stuck with it and uh, Coach Orwell encouraged me through good times and bad. And it was really one of the best things I've ever done. It turned me into a lifelong uh, endurance athlete. I think this is pretty awesome that uh, the athletes that right now currently have put together this montage and whatever you got going here. Uh, it speaks volumes of how important you've been to not only athletes, students, you know, all across the board, cross country, track, hockey over the years. It's been pretty cool to see the last 20 years how much respect you've got throughout the, uh, the sports world, and not only in Chisago, but in surrounding communities as well. So if I had one word to describe Coach Olerwall, it would be an overachiever. So Coach always went out of his way for his athletes, running with us at practice or bringing us Dairy Queen after. Um, he always went above and beyond. One word that I'd use to describe Coach is like energetic. I remember watching other people's races and Coach was like, oh, you know, like you should come with me and like cheer for them. And I was like, okay, it'll be, you know, kind of fun, like staying with Coach and clap for people and stuff. And like... It was more of a way good than my race. It was like we'd go to one place and clap for a while and we'd be, oh, you know, got to go to the next place, got to like cheer for the next people and stuff. So, and every day in practice too, like he'd run with us, he'd bike with us. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks to Mr. Orwell for all his years of coaching. Um, every spring, I think about running as soon as the weather starts getting warm. And I just want to say that I think my years of track have really inspired me to keep running basically for my whole life so far. and. The level of enthusiasm Mr. Orwell shows to his athletes is really amazing. And we see it every year still at the Lapit, which is great. So anyway, thanks Mr. Orwell. Thanks Coach O. Um, one word to describe Coach Orwell would be goofy, as you all know. He's a very fun guy. My favorite meat is Malacca Mega Meat because it's so big. They always had the music jamming. Uh, favorite workout would be the poker run. Coach always knew how to make a workout fun. My favorite speed workout, I think I really enjoyed the 400s the most because I could get on my toes and go as hard as I could. Um, in track season, I love doing the 4x4, four four, so I think the 400s, I'm not sure if we ever did 10 in a row. I also enjoyed something called the negative split run. We had to go out, well, maybe not hard as we could, but 
you know, good threshold and then turn around and make it back faster. I really enjoyed when we had to go running around picking up garbage. It was called the ABC run. So we had to pick up litter that started with the alphabet letters and the team, you would be with the team and you would try to get um, all the way from A to Z. My favorite meet probably would be the Malacca meet. Just cool to compete against so many other runners. If I had to choose a favorite workout, it would probably be the poker run. Um, even though I don't know how to play poker and I always had to have coach look at my hand of cards and tell me what I had. Um, it was still really fun. He made every run kind of fun and unique. You've meant a ton to this program. It's uh, quite the culture that uh, you've built, that you've got going, and that hopefully keeps going and gains on itself. I always remember going down into the wrestling room before the big races, conference, and sections to do some of those mindfulness things. I, I haven't had a coach since Coach Orwell that has uh, been that awesome, that talented at getting runners to believe in themselves. Of the many things that Coach Orwell is great at, that's number one in my book. I think that was also part of the reason we, we ran our best at the, at the big meets at the end of the year. My two single best memories, though, would have to be 2004 sections up in Cloquet with Coach, and then after the summer we graduated with Dan Brelli and, and Ben Derry going up to the Boundary Waters. Um, again, I'll never forget those, those times with Coach. One of my favorite memories of Coach and running would probably be uh, my junior year. A group of us girls were going out for a long run, and we asked Coach if we could have a new route, and <laughs> he sent us on this dirt road, and I swear the dirt road was never ending. And to this day, I swear it was 10 miles, but Coach claims it was six. It still makes me laugh when I think about that run, and I learned my lesson to never ask Coach for a route. <laughs> my favorite memory of Coach uh, honestly might be meditation. Like before uh, I would be like sections and state or whatever conference, stuff like that. And like, even now, if I'm like getting stressed about stuff, I'll, you know, sit there and close my eyes and just breathe in, breathe out and that sort of thing. So you've done a marvelous job, uh, teaching, training, just growing individuals personally. I hope you enjoy the, you enjoyed the ride as much as everybody else did. We deserve everything that everyone's told you tonight, and I'm sure the couple weeks leading up to this. It had a huge, huge impact on my life, Coach. Thanks a lot for everything you've done, and I wish you the best. I just want to say congrats, Orwell. You deserve this. Have a fun retirement, and thank you for helping me fall in love with running. He has been around since there is the King of England that ruled America. Knowing Coach Orwell, he's probably going to go on some other quest in the North Woods. And he'll find Excalibur, knowing him. Coach Orwell, uh, you deserve retirement because you spent so much time and energy. Congratulations, Coach. Happy retirement, Coach Orwell. <laughs>